Alright, in this video I'm going to explain to you exactly what the sticks and switches on your radios do. I am not going to get into radio programming because there are too many different brands of radios and pieces of electronics which may require different types of setups, different radios call things differently. So I am never going to get into programming radios. I am only going to show you how to fly. On a mode 2 radio, no matter what, the sticks all do the same thing. So as before, mode 2, which is the standard in the United States and it seems to be the most popular overall, most people fly mode 2. This controls your throttle, which is the speed of your blades, and or the pitch of the blades. And when I say and or, you have throttle curves in your radio which control the stick. And you also have a pitch curve. This stick is, controls your pitch curves and your throttle curves. So your throttle curves, I will get into throttle curves and pitch curves because these are pretty standard on all radios. So this is a quick overview. On a normal throttle curve, when your stick is all the way down, your motor is shut off. As you move the stick up, it gives the blades more RPM and it also still controls the pitch of your blades. The way I set my helicopter up is always in stunt mode. So no matter what, my blades are spinning at the same RPM no matter where my stick position is. And that is changed by my throttle curves. Also, the stick changes the pitch of my blades. If I want to kill my motor, since I'm in the standard, I mean, uh, idle up, stop mode, I have to flip a switch on my radio called the throttle hold. Throttle hold turns on and off the motor, but my stick never does. I do not fly in normal mode ever. So I always have to have the switch to turn my helicopter motor on and off. Alright, so I am in stunt mode or what we call idle on. When I move the throttle and or collective stick up, the helicopter goes up. I move it down, it goes down. If I move the tail stick, it spins the tail. If I move it the other direction, it spins the tail the other direction. Now the stick on the right hand side, if I move it forward, the helicopter tilts forward, flies forward. If I move it backwards, the helicopter tilts backwards, and flies backwards. If I move it to the right, the helicopter moves to the right. If I move it to the left, the helicopter moves to the left. When I'm upside down, if I move the throttle and or collective stick down, the helicopter goes up. If I move it up, the helicopter comes down. Alright, now the switch is on the radio. Usually one of these two switches are going to be your throttle hold. Generally it seems to be the one in the back. I think my buddy's Futaba radio is this one. I think you can change that in a lot of radios. Some come standard. So you want to make sure what switch is what on your radio. As you'll see you'll have all these other different switches on your radio. I don't really tend to use many of these. For the most part, I use my throttle hold. On my Spectrum radio, which comes set up standard, this switch right here on the very back, on the right hand side of the radio, kills the throttle of my motor. This stick, on the front left hand side of the top, this is my idle up or stunt mode switch. I can have a normal mode, stunt mode 1, and stunt mode 2. Or I can have stunt mode 1, stunt mode 2, and stunt mode 3. The way I set mine up, 
is this is zero throttle. I have my throttle curve set for zero throttle on the first position of the switch. So this is an additional throttle hold. All these other switches do different things. I never use these. I keep so all my stuff is set up the same at all the time. For instance, maybe I'll flip this switch and the helicopter might be less aggressive towards my stick movements. Like it may not react as fast to my stick movements if I move the switch. Or the switch, each one of these is for a different channel and whatnot on your helicopter. I set, these are all programmable and a good radio. I set all the programming exactly the same for these switches. So even if I accidentally flip one of these switches, it doesn't matter because they're all set up exactly the same. For the most part, I worry about throttle hold and I worry about my idle up or stunt mode switch. Idle up and stunt mode are the same thing, it's just a different term. So that concludes the radio.